I'm Jen, I'm a nurse, and you may have seen Redonda Vaught in the news. And I'm here to tell you Redonda was always gonna happen. This trial should be just a big old convention of nurses talking about, let's talk about the culture that led to this. Because for years, nurses have been given more and more and more to do with less and less and less resources. Any message to nursing students or people thinking of going into nursing right now in light of this verdict? I would say that that's a, that's a valid concern. Um, just remember why you entered this profession in the first place, why you decided you wanted to go to school to be a nurse. reaction to the Redondavat trial case is anger and frustration, as well as a sense of injustice and lack of accountability on healthcare as a whole. I would say staffing is probably probably the biggest thing, you know, we're, we're very overworked, we're very understaffed as a generalization. I don't see that changing, so it creates a lot of fear um, for me because of the way that Redonda's case has been handled, where things have been uh, very punitive. I personally have made medication errors and I think that most healthcare professionals have in in some capacity and she reported herself which is what you're supposed to do in that situation and we know that her hospital system did not support her which is really scary for us. I just I don't think nurses should be held accountable to a criminal standard where medical professionals are held accountable every day for what we do and Nurses, especially in these critical care units, work very hard. They work under a lot of stress and a lot of pressure. Nobody's denying that she made a mistake, but this sets a whole new precedent. She was doing her job, albeit incompetently, but that's, you know, that's the difference. There's a difference between, you know, incompetent and making a mistake versus a criminal matter. And for it to rise to the level of a criminal matter and for her to ha face um, prison time is it, just beyond me. It's a nurse's worst nightmare to harm a patient. Just the difference between those two medications and the way that they come in their form sh should have like set off alarm bells like wait a minute all of us have made some missteps and decisions that were wrong but I think just the very nature of the two medications leads me to believe that that she really did skip steps that that killed a person that took a person from their family and took a person from their own life Thank you.